if making fur is an art, you should be an artist. Except if you are the Rachel Ray, you should get the beach slap from all of the Vietnamese mom out there. Hello, as you can see over here today, I will be trying to making fur. It could be chicken fur instead of the uh, beef uh, fur. <laughs> kind of sharing the uh, recipe and stuff uh, but I couldn't find the time before and since I have three days off this week I can uh, finally decide to do it and uh, the second reason is uh, there's a lot of uh, YouTube channel over there uh, mostly white people I'm sorry and not to be racist no, I am Asian hate everyone anyway um, why people, why cooker uh, claim to share their own recipe? No, actually they don't say they share their own recipe. They say they uh, share the authentic uh, pho recipe, which is, is really, really pissed me off, uh, basically. So let me tell you this. Uh, this video would be mostly for my non Vietnamese speaking friends. Uh, it's just because I have a lot of friends in Vietnam and cook better and know better than me so uh, please forgive me friends if you are sorry for this um, it's just a way I'm cooking it it is uh, I learned from my mom she's a wonderful cook Sarah from the mom the way I'm cooking it like uh, close to the way that if you uh, that you can find for in uh, Hanoi not Vietnam uh, on the uh, in the mostly uh, in the restaurant in Vietnam uh, in the street and stuff so this recipe I think would be close to the one that they serving in Hanoi uh, mostly Hanoi in the restaurant and the uh, taste and flavor would be close to those two uh, and uh, let's start uh, so the four ingredient what we should have is the chicken Ginger, shallot, two, uh, one medium uh, white onion, uh, salt, uh, MSG, uh, and a seasoning spice for the uh, vegetable. I don't know why we call vegetable, but I, don't, I cannot find another word for it. This would be green onion, a bunch, and a bunch of uh, cilantro. This would be for noodle, and the most important thing is is the part for what? For making broth. Surprisingly, I will not using the broth from the can or from the box today because I want to show you how I'm doing it. So I can make my own broth. And the last ingredient will be get a hole. Sorry, I just have to give the joke. It's a, it's a joke. Well, you can have a hole. Well, one is never enough. I have three. So all of this gradient you can easily buy on the uh, Wegman. Why not? I'm working Wegman, so I'm advertising for them right now. Uh, you can buy easily buy the Wegmans. None of this I buy from the Asian market, so you're not worry about I have to go there. Let's start with chicken. Uh, Usually I will be making the whole chicken, but today when I'm cooking uh, for serving, I will be just uh, cut in half. Um, let me rinse it off really good, clean with uh, uh, cold water uh, and salt, and then uh, we will be boiling it. I will be saving the neck in here for the bone for making uh, the broth. Oh, 
how after I clean uh, rinse well all the chicken I cut it in a half and the only thing that you need to save is the uh, neck bones you don't need to eat it it's just uh, I'm boiling it and put into the broth later um, and uh, uh, the half of the chicken in cold water and what you need to put in there just a piece of ginger let's say smash it first That. Put it in and then a little bit of salt, not too much. And you remember, just use the cold water um, and then you can boil it up and cook until well done. Uh, so, while waiting for the uh, water is boiling, uh, if you see any kind of the dirty foam, like a bubble uh, floating on top, just uh, gently scoop it up because basically it's like a, we call it a dirty bubble. Um, look like that. Just scoop it out. Oh, smells so good. It's just um, the smell of the chicken boiling broth always make me homesick. Um, like in every um, special occasion like a Lunar New Year, Memorial when um, uh, we celebrate a f family member who passed away. Uh, my mom usually uh, boiling chicken which is just like a big thing uh, when they, they prepare you know the uh, memorial meal and uh, special meal and the smell of the uh, chicken broth with ginger and onions. As always stuck in my memory so as you can see all the uh, dirty bubble foam also already got scooped out uh, the rest is just like of the white stuff uh, the white bubble when you boiling the, the water um, at this point I will remove the lid and uh, lower the heat to low or low medium and um, our goal would be make the broth it looks clear as possible or less cloudy as possible um, so I will not cover totally cover uh, the lid up and just let the chickens uh, boiling in here for until it's well done and you can uh, continue continuously checking the chicken until the chicken is well done how do you know it's well done? How the hell should I know? Just keep boiling, boiling, and boiling. So I will be just like a pan pepper like this, so the steam can coming out and doesn't make the water look uh, cloudy. Okay, after 30 minutes of uh, the low heat, I think the chicken is finally well done cook. So I will take it out. Tiny heart. Hold chicken out. And I will let the chicken cool down completely so I can separate uh, the meat and the bones. As you can see, the broth now look uh, less cloudy as possible. <laughs> um, if you don't want the chicken fat, you can just scoop out the fat which is floating on top right now. Um, I will pour this broth into the instant pot. Uh, to prepare for the uh, making chicken broth after I separate the chick, uh, the meat from the bones. So now we're just waiting until the chicken cool down. What should we do? A few moments later. So since now chickens go down, I will try to separate the meat from the bones to get the bone to make the broth and at the same time I will 
uh, grilling or uh, roasting two uh, shallot and one ginger. Uh, you can do just half of this, but I couldn't find the smaller one, so and I uh, will not use after this one, so I just you grill them all. Uh, some people say that uh, you can actually use in microwave. I never tried before, and I do not want to try it neither. So I just using the regular uh, uh, gas stove. until the uh, cover burn out. So if you want tasting the, the, chicken, the chicken fur that other people in Vietnam eating, you shouldn't take any shortcut. So uh, at this point some people will start asking can I use the chicken broth instead of have to spend half of the day try to separate the bones and the meat and then using chicken breast and uh, chicken broth in the can uh, or the boxes instead and I will say no if you want to do that I would rather suggest you go to pizza store and order you the nice pizza instead, okay? There's a lot of things you can like cheat, but making fur, I can strongly say that is not, will be not one of them. Just do like a small piece like this. Usually that's what the restaurant in Hanoi is serving. If you don't like skin, you can get rid of skin, but I love skin, so I will save the skin for me. And actually, I'm not a fan of using young chicken, just because the chicken meat um, is very soft and too tender. That means that, mean that um, eventually, uh, when you boiling the chicken, um, the meat and the bone will be falling apart, and the meat is just kind of too soft. Uh, in Vietnam, usually we using the chickens that they raise out the cage, um, so the meat is very uh, it's very firm. That's why the best part of the chicken fur uh, will be the thigh and the drumstick, not the bread. And if any chance that you can see the inside chicken not cooking down like a still red, don't be worried because in the end of the day, you will pour in very hot broth into your bowl and hopefully it will be cooking that chicken later in the bowl. Uh, just be patient. Uh, just be careful because the onion very uh, burn out really quick. So actually, it's already done. You can see totally burn outside, and uh, the and the left now just the ginger, which is still need to totally burn it. And if you making this house real outside would be better because all the uh, ash would go not flying around so usually I could be saving the big piece of chicken with the skin like this and use a knife to cut it off so I can keep the skin uh, attacked on it uh, eating fur is just always the best this in chicken fur always the best if you can add uh, like a little bit chicken fat on it so the chicken will be more juicy 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 chicken and I used to make chicken fur kind of in the little bit shortcut by 
uh, using the chicken legs. If you go to the Asian market, they have. If you go to the Asian market, they usually have like a, a frozen section next to the meat department with all the organs and um, part like chicken head, chicken necks, chicken feet uh, on frozen. So I used to buy a bag of them and whenever I'm ready to make fur, just clean it up, not even need to, to uh, 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 what do you call it, defrost, you know, tar, tar the chicken. I just ready to clean it and then put it on the instant pot right away. Because um, we did eat the chicken leg, but I do not. So I just eat them as for the uh, kind of the bone and the meat for the making chicken broth. It could be faster. So after the ginger and uh, shallot is grilled well done with the totally black outside, uh, all you need to do is rinse them off and then uh, cut onion in half. Don't even need to cover the, the don't even need to peel off the cover. That would be bring out the most flavor. For the ginger, you cut in half. Leave on the cutting board. Freaking smash it, smash it really good. Smash it like imagine this one and kind of the stupid customer cut you off on the grocery store in holiday. And then you will be type all of this in one of the cheese squat bag. Just tie them up for good, and then in the end of the day, when you're done with the broth, just pick them out and throw into the garbage. Easy peasy. Put into the instant pot, and you do the same with the bones. Oops, I didn't know I have a already made bag. Stupid me. Spent three dollars at the grocery store yesterday buying the cheese cloth. So dumb. And that would be this would be the left of the bone. I just pick it out from the chick separate from the chicken meat and put it into the broth. And this would be the uh, chicken wild or uh, broth water for the man. So due to the boiling water, uh, there's a lot of water already evaporated. So at this point, you can uh, just add in uh, a cup or two cups of the cold water. Uh, one cup of the cold water and two cups of the cold water. So for seasoning, we will be add a sprinkle of MSG, king of the flavor. Without the MSG, the fur would be less good in like a 20%. And seasoning, if you don't have this seasoning, this type of seasoning we call the Bột Canh Hải Châu. Basically, so my uh, parents have to ship it from uh, Hanoi, Vietnam because I cannot find it in here at all. Since most of the Vietnamese market in the uh, US is from the South Vietnam. And this seasoning is mostly used for the North people, uh, North Vietnam people. That's why I couldn't find it in here and my parents had to ship it. Um, so I just do one scoop for now and a half. And uh, we can uh, change it later when the broth is done. Uh, if you don't have this seasoning, uh, just uh, replace it with the uh, knobs, chicken powder and salt. But just be careful, don't add it too salty. I almost forget, uh, you will have one white onion split in a half, no need to grill or uh, 
no need to grill or to uh, roasting it. Just put right into the broth. Close it up. Put the vents into the seal. And make into the fresh cook. High level. Be the total time is at least 45 minutes to one hour. If you don't have an instant pot, you will have to steam, not steam like a slow boiling in your cooking pot for at least four to five hours. So I will make 45 minutes. So while we're waiting for instant pot cooking, it could be for a while. I will be pick up just the leaf of the cilantro. Uh, it's just because I'm not a fan of eating the whole stem uh, in fur. So I just pick up mostly the leaf and we can really chop it later after I rinse it up. Well, funny story is the first time when I went to USA and I went to grocery store, I tried to pick up the cilantro and uh, guess what I got the parsley by mistake <laughs> and this turned out I cannot eat it so I throw the, the mouth and I found out that I have to snip it every time I went to buy the cilantro so if you caught me snipping at the produce section and grocery store. Don't be surprised. I just want to buy the right stuff. And I will chop the cilantro into small pieces. And cilantro and green onion would be the only two things that I'm adding to fur to eat with. I repeat, I do not eat basil, I do not eat bean sprout, I do not eat like put the big chunks of the onion into the bowl of fur. Only two things, cilantro and green onions. That how the not Vietnamese people eating fur for both beef fur and chicken fur. And for the onion, you rinse it off, cut off the root, and will be cutting. I will be cutting all the white part into the long thing like this. Put it aside in small pieces with the rest. And I will mix it up with the rest of the cilantro. And back in the time when I was a kid, I'm so afraid of eating onion. Every time we went to eat fur as a uh, restaurant, I always asking for fur without onion. And uh, when I grow up, I start slowly eating onion again and uh, cannot stop ever since. For the big white uh, end of the uh, green onion, you just split them in half. So seeing we only have like 14 minutes left on the instant pot, I will be uh, boiling the fur noodle now. And this one is a brand uh, from Thailand. Usually I'm not a fan of uh, this brand. Uh, I used to went to Hua near uh, UB not campus uh, that one used to sell the fur hanoi um, uh, brand which is when you boil it and turn out 
80% close to the fresh for noodles. Um, but uh, recently, like a two years, three years recently, I couldn't find it anymore and isn't in Asian market. The one I went to um, on Niagara for Boulevard, uh, they don't have many choice of the for noodles. So this one I picked up from Wegmans. They have two type. Uh, this one has the size as you can see over here. It's a little bit thick. Oh, not thick, I mean wide. And that's how I like it. The other one is very uh, like a only half size. And no, that's not the right for noodles uh, we usually serve. Um, and of course, uh, I don't have time to make a fresh for a noodle. It takes so much time. So I'm just using what I have right now. I'm sure this one will be turned out only like a 50-60% close to Oh, yeah, it's like a size, size L The other one probably will be size medium or small uh, It will be turned out probably like 50-60% close to the quality that I want to But since I want to keep this video like with all the ingredients that you can find in the uh, normal grocery store So we just have to go with it so instruction sets only six and eight minutes until soft and then drilling them. So I just boiling the water for now. And uh, yes, uh, not like uh, Rachel Y. I'm sorry, Rachel Ray. Uh, we cannot substitute uh, the food or with anything else. No fucking. Um, pizza, uh, spaghetti noodles, or lo mein, or vermicelline. that's not okay. If you want to try different noodles, don't call it for or something else. Uh, you have to eat the first noodles, uh, which is a set in here. Uh, so let's see how it's turned out. And just stir it up, keep stirring it up and keep it boiling for 6 to 8 minutes, so it took 7 minutes. Meanwhile, over here, our um, instant pot is done after 45 minutes of uh, pressure cook. And I will release the fresh uh, to uh, the vent from uh, a seal to uh, vent venting. So, uh, before I do that, I know that a lot of people are um, afraid of using instant pot for pressure cooking because of the exploding uh, I never heard such of the incident and I don't know anyone using that uh, have that incident before if you have that <laughs> good luck you are 0.00001% of the uh, uh, population who incurring the freak accident yay and I will be switching to As we could be venting for at least we will find it and turn the red dot. Turn down, and we'll go back. So after I drain it out the noodle, I will rinse it off with just a uh, very cold tap water. Just a little bit. And if you want to testing the how soft the noodle is, you can just take it out one string from the bowl and testing before you drain it. So make sure it's that soft like the way you like. Uh, the way they eat for it's just you know, like a medium soft. And then I leave it here. It could be enough for serving for at least uh, three and a half bowl right here. And after I raise it up, I just put it back here to get the drain water, the rest of the water out. Uh, just be noticed that type, some type the noodles, uh, for noodles, when uh, they dry, they very stick together uh, because part of the ingredients, they put a lot of tapioca in that. Uh, so if you have that type of noodles, uh, just mix it with a little bit of cooking oil so the noodles uh, will not stick together in the end. Or you will be end up like a uh, chunk of uh, noodle and it's not good at all. And over here, our vent uh, is already done. As you see, the red button went down. So I come back to seal, turn it back. So now, when uh, I take everything out, uh, you can just scoop out all the fat 
uh, on top of here if you don't want it I don't mind so I just leave in there and I will be testing a little bit to see if I need to changing the uh, uh, how salty or how it is I take a little bit out and taste it It's very sweet because of the um, hole of the wine and we cut in there uh, but it's not salty enough yet so I will put uh, more seasoning in there this stuff and uh, I think it's just one uh, scoop for now and it will be all set You can see some of the uh, onion peel got uh, fall down in here, but it's okay. You know, just you can just scoop them out. And just let it warm. And whenever you're ready to uh, serve it, um, put back into the uh, function as the salt, salty. I think it means boiling, and they will be keep it boiling. Uh, and you can serve it when it's really hot. So now when I'm ready to serve it, I just hit cancel and put back into the salting and just put 10 minutes is fine and it will be uh, boiling it up in another two or three minutes uh, and then we can serve. So the broth is almost boiling. I will be prepare the bowl just to kind of take it out of the noodles depending on how many noodles you want a lot it's a mixing between green onion and cilantro on one side uh, one or two three slide onion on top of that and of course this would be uh, chicken Actually, I forgot to buy a fresh lamb today, so I have to use lamb juice. I know. I'm so bad. Agent God, Vietnamese God, please forgive me. So, so we just eat a little bit and pour it in. And when you're ready to serve, pour in some of the ground pepper, mix it up, and dig in.